All right, guys. Um, using a Wi-Fi Express module right there, I'm connected to this XR. I don't know if you can see it. Let me lift it up a little bit. XR10 just stock a hobby wing ESC, right? What I did was I disconnected the cable that's connected to the receiver, the throttle cable, and the hobby wing in the package in here, in this package that when you're gonna buy this, it comes with these little Y split cables. So this is the cable that's connected to the receiver. You connect that and then you connect the hobby wing to the other end, that's how you're gonna connect this. There's no port on this ES here, right? Like some of the hobby wings, you could disconnect the fan and connect it there. This one has two wires, so you do not have that, guys. I'm updating the firmware here, as you can see right there. It's updating the firmware. And uh, right down here, it tells you the 10R, XR, 10R, ESC, all right? So, update. Okay, I don't know why I clicked again, but I uh, made a mistake there. All right, so I'm gonna just let it load again. And uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to update. But as you can see, it's fired up. You see that? It's connected to the cable that's coming, that's supposed to go into the receiver, right? So that's how you're gonna connect this, all right? The Hobby Wing Express. Some of the cards, you could connect it the same way, guys, all right? And uh, that's how you're gonna put the values into that little ESC. But on this car, all I had was uh, my throttle, the motor is backward, so I need to switch the direction of the motor because when I press throttle, it goes back, all right? And in a reverse, there's nothing, all right? And I could switch around the polarity on my uh, controller, but then it just keeps going crazy. But anyways, long story short, all right? And uh, got to get this thing running, all right? I want to do some drifts. All right, so on the 80%, I'm gonna just let it go. All right, and uh, 91, 92. Come on, finish up. So again, XR10, just stock e ESC. That's how you're gonna program it, all right? If you're wondering where to find the connector, you're not gonna find the connector. That's the connector you're gonna use, all right? And we got this thing fired up. All right, and update complete. Let's go back. Let's go into tremolator, whatever that word it was. Tremolator, I can't even pronounce it. My tongue is stuck right now. All right, loading data. Yeah, load all you want. You're gonna have to work today, boy. Let's get into it. All right, so we have forward only. You see that? It says forward only. Let's put that into forward, reverse, and brake, all right? Voltage cutoff. Let's see what numbers we have. 3.2 is the best. Level 7. Or level 9, boy. Maximum brake force, 70%. Let's put, uh, yeah, 75 because we don't want to put 100%. Reverse force, we'll put 50%. We can always adjust it from our controller. Neutral range, all right. all right. I have a small problem which I'm gonna have to look into. I'm not able to switch the rotation clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, uh, did I update? Maybe that will fix the issue. But let's see, guys, let's save these. All right, saving. All right, so it's saved. All right, there we have it, guys. All right, so it's saved. Let me get out of here. We could disconnect this, guys. I'm going to move all this. I'm going to plug this back 
into that ESC so let me shut this off so pretty much if I can manage to get this little guy out so I did take this off so this goes back into the ESC which is gonna be hard complicated because it's all the way in the back behind the uh, steering cable never gonna be able to line alright guys let me get that in there and then we'll continue so pretty much I got this disconnected you're gonna get this cable when you do buy the the hub viewing module right? it's gonna come with this a Y connector the split alright so that's it and I'll, I'll fire up let's see what happens alright guys let me move my phone out of the way I got this thing fired up inside my controller Okay, my car was just going into reverse right before. So what I did was I press a reverse if you have if you're using the DX6R. Uh, use that reverse button right there, right? So then it would go forward, not reverse every time you press the throttle. So guys, there we have it. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Alright, so we're done pretty much guys. And uh we have our Sharing there so thank you subscribe and bye bye guys and we will see you on the next one